Hi, my name's Amanda and I'm a pharmacist. Today we'll be talking about issues that require pharmacist intervention. And if you find this video useful, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share it with others who may find it helpful too. And if you'd like to support this channel with a donation, press the heart thanks button to give me a super thanks. Thanks, I really appreciate it. We'll begin by looking at pharmacist versus pharmacy technician duties. So comparing the roles of pharmacists and pharmacy technicians is helpful for understanding issues that require pharmacist intervention. So pharmacists fill and dispense prescriptions and provide information regarding the safe use of medications, and they supervise the pharmacy technicians. Pharmacy technicians assist the pharmacist with filling and dispensing prescriptions, helping with the technical aspects of pharmacy operations. So pharmacists, they can work independently, but a pharmacy technician cannot. They require a pharmacist. So now we'll look more specifically at the pharmacy technician duties. Pharmacy technicians are medical professionals who assist with the technical aspects of pharmacy operations, including the routine work of processing, preparing, and dispensing prescription orders. Pharmacy technicians assist pharmacists in giving patients the best possible pharmaceutical care. And pharmaceutical care is medication-related care, or drug therapy, for the purpose of achieving outcomes that improve a patient's quality of life. So that's what a pharmacist is working toward, and the pharmacy technician assists the pharmacist in, in providing the best possible pharmaceutical care. Now we'll look more specifically at some general pharmacy technician duties. This includes collecting and entering patient information and prescriptions in the computer system, measuring, counting, and mixing medications, packaging and labeling prescriptions, updating patient records including insurance information, communicating with insurance companies, collecting payment for prescriptions, referring patients with medical questions to the pharmacist, answering the phone, cleaning pharmacy and equipment, maintaining drug inventory, drug ordering and restocking inventory, return to stock prescriptions, filing prescription records, and checking shelves for outdated drugs. So pharmacy technicians are the backbone of pharmacy operations and can make all the difference in the efficiency and success of a pharmacy. Their skill allows pharmacists to focus more on patient health and safety. So you can see how all of these duties I've listed regard the technical aspects of pharmacy operations. Now we'll look at the pharmacist duties. Pharmacists are responsible for overseeing the pharmacy operations and for the patient health and safety related to prescriptions and drug information. I have here some general pharmacist duties include checking prescriptions for safety issues such as allergies, potential drug interactions, duplication of therapy, or incorrect drug dosages, checking field prescriptions for accuracy, instructing patients how to take medications safely, providing information about medications such as side effects, providing general health and wellness advice to patients, making recommendations to patients for non-prescription medications, interacting with other healthcare providers such as doctors and nurses regarding prescriptions, and immunization information and follow-up. So you can see how these activities relate to patient health and safety of, of medications. Okay, there are some issues that require pharmacist intervention, and I'm gonna go specifically through these. Um, so DUR, that stands for Drug Utilization Review. This involves the evaluation of patient medication use to ensure that medications are appropriate, um, they're medically necessary, and, likely, and unlikely to result in adverse reactions. Um, ADE, this is an adverse drug event. This is when someone's harmed by medication. Um, OTC recommendation, this is giving advice about over-the-counter or non-prescription medications. So those are all issues that require a pharmacist. And some other ones include drug misuse. This, is, this includes issues that arise regarding taking medication in a way other than how it's prescribed or taking medication prescribed for someone else. Adherence, um, this is taking medication the correct way. This includes by the correct directions, at the correct time, not missing doses, things like that. And drug interactions, um, these are reactions that occur between a drug and another substance that causes a change in the action or a side effect of the drug. So those again are all issues that require a pharmacist. 
and a few more here, um, allergies. So any type of allergic reaction to medications and screening patient allergies uh, that could potentially cause reactions to medications. Vaccine questions and post immunization follow up. This is addressing patient questions about immunizations and follow up with patients after the administration of immunizations. And therapeutic substitution. This involves switching a prescribed drug to another drug in the same class with prescriber approval. And again, those are all things that require a pharmacist. So now I have a quiz about issues requiring a pharmacist. So number one, does the following task require pharmacist intervention? A patient calls the pharmacy requesting a refill. Does this require a pharmacist? And the answer is no. A patient calling the pharmacy requesting a refill is something that a technician could do. That's a technical aspect of pharmacy operations. Number two, does the following task require pharmacist intervention? A person comes to the counter asking for medical information about an OTC product. Does that require a pharmacist? And the answer is yes. A person coming to the counter asking for medical information about an OTC product requires a pharmacist. Number three, does the following task require pharmacist intervention? A patient comes to the pharmacy with a new insurance card. And the answer is no, this does not require a pharmacist. A new insurance card is something that a technician can take care of. Number four, does the following task require pharmacist intervention? A patient calls the pharmacy with a question about the best time of day to take a new medication. And the answer is yes, this does require pharmacists. The patient is calling wanting medical information. So this requires a pharmacist. Number five, does the following task require pharmacist intervention? A doctor calls the pharmacy with a question about a drug interaction. And the answer is yes, this does require a pharmacist. I mean, anytime a doctor calls wanting medical information, a pharmacist is needed. Okay, now we'll look at a summary and just some key points to remember about issues requiring pharmacist intervention. So pharmacy technician tasks, um, they basically involve the technical routine work of filling prescriptions, the operations of the pharmacy, and it is under the supervision of a pharmacist. Pharmacist tasks involve patient health and safety and the safe use of medications. This includes drug knowledge and advice, and they supervise the pharmacy technicians and oversee the pharmacy operations. So pharmacist intervention is required in issues that require drug knowledge or advice regarding patient health and safe medication use. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with others who may find it helpful. Please subscribe to see more of my pharmacy learning videos. And if you'd like to support this channel with a donation, press the heart thanks button to give me a super thanks. Thanks, I really appreciate it.